Hey, Ryan Steinelson here with Accelerate Marketing, and I'm going to give you the January update for LSA so that you guys can see exactly what's going on here and make sure that you uh, do things accordingly so you can keep those amazing qualified leads coming into your phones and to your uh, messages, to your text. So I'm going to show you guys what's going on here. The LSA update for January is really interesting. So the first update here is the DBA in sign up flow launch. So what you can do is a lot, you know, in the past there's been some challenges with businesses that also have a DBA being able to identify their DBA in the uh, sign up flow uh, process. So this now um, is taken care of because you can actually send that information during the sign up process. And then later, the provider will need to upload a copy of their DBA um, directly to uh, LSA in order to in order to have that approved. Up, so that, that's nice that it's at least part of the uh, the flow of the sign up process. So updating bids for multi vertical LSA accounts. This is nice because you know what you can do now is you can identify the bids for each vertical. So instead of having to give bids for all the different verticals that you have, now you can do um, you know, once bids are updated the first time, right here it says then a provider with multi verticals can go in and update a single vertical as needed without having to update all of them. So you can update each one individually, which is nice because you might want to have a different bid on one vertical versus another. And it also ensures that, that all bid amounts for all verticals served are clear and have been uh, confirmed by the provider, which is nice. Um, the BBB rating accreditation reminder. Um, basically, what they're saying is, is that they want you to put a link um, in the request to get approved for BBB um, and or a screenshot in that uh, process so that the, uh, the people over at LSA can make this approval happen faster, which we all want. Um, availability for locksmith and garage door providers on local service ads. It was shut down. Now that's open again. So it, again, this, these were previously closed due to COVID-19 obstacles. The uh, deprecation of uh, 16 verticals on local service ads. So if you were a architect, an event planner, a post, I didn't really, you know, I never really saw a lot of ads for any of these verticals. I don't even know if they really um, too much got off the ground, really. Um, it, it, it just, there's, there's definitely verticals that are better for the LSA platform. Uh, than others, and uh, and obviously these are ones that didn't really fit as well. So coming up in February of 2021, it's now. <laughs> so real estate and lawyer professional service providers will be directed to Evident instead of Pinkerton. This is a big shift, and it, and we've actually just created a video on this. It's a very, it's actually a very welcome process change in the approval of any companies for LSA. Why? Because we have found that Pinkerton was challenging. It just, the background check process was not a smooth one. It wasn't very obvious what to do next. There was a lot of confusion and it delayed the process as a result of getting our professionals approved. It was very frustrating. Um, and so now, and we've gone through the evident process, I just did a, a fake test account and uh, we created a video on that. Go ahead and watch that video if you haven't. Um, I'll have uh, my videographer, um, an editor, uh, make sure that we link those two uh, with this video to that one so you can watch it. But um, this is awesome. Evidence really, it's got a smooth, simple process for signing up. And uh, I think you'll really appreciate it. And it's, um, and you, you, you do, are, you are notified all the way through the process of where you are and what basically how long it's going to take, which is a big improvement. We'll see how, how well that works, you know, the updating of the, uh, of where they're at and approving you, uh, and that's because that's been always a big um, a big source of contention that you know there wasn't many updates, um, but now it looks like they're they're working on that. So recertification of expired documents. Um, this is something that's that's big. We just had one of our clients actually have this happen. Basically, if you have like your insurance that's been um, is out of date, then they're just saying LSA is saying they're gonna they're gonna come to you. And they're going to say you got to update it, which we just had. So you just got to re, you know, you just got to re-upload the uh, the document, and then you should be reapproved. If you're not using LSA, you're crazy. This is an awesome opportunity, and like we always say, it's a race to the starting line. 
Uh, why? Because this is a long-term lead generation asset for your company. As long as you do a few things, and we've talked about those things, the three R's, reviews, radius, response time, um, we can help you with that. We can help you get the right type of reviews and, um, and, and really optimize these LSA pages so that you get the most out of them and you get the you get more qualified leads out of them we know how to dispute the leads the distribution process we do this for many many companies and um we can more more than not we can save you more money just in the distributions than you would pay for you know what you would you know hire us for our services um let alone all the other optimization strategies that we can give you having done this for a long time 12 years now um we've been doing online marketing and we've been with you know uh, local service ads since they started two years ago. So thanks guys. Call us if you have any questions, check out our website. You can call me directly. Text me if you have any questions, 561-309-0050. My name is Ryan and I'm the owner of Accelerate Marketing and uh, hopefully this was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, type them below.